The top channels on YouTube are people like Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, Dude Perfect, and a Russian child named Like Nastya. These people have garnered hundreds of millions of subscribers by doing crazy stunts, pranks, and whatever this is. None of them hold a candle to my favorite YouTube channel, Artisan Bread with Steve. As the name suggests, Steve's videos are about making bread. Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to my kitchen. The About Me section on his channel says that his goal is to open the world of no-need bread baking and smart and easy recipes to you, our friends. I don't fuss with the process and I'm not reluctant to use store-bought when it's smarter. I'm focused on my goal, great taste. I strive for, quote, wow. This man is by far my favorite thing on YouTube. He seems so kind. His videos are relaxing to watch and his bread is good. I've made many of his recipes and they're not only easy, but they're delicious. He's patented a no-need process called Turbo Bread, which you can bake 2.5 hours after you start it. For all the bread noobs out there, that's pretty quick. Normally you have to let bread rise at least overnight. He's also not pretentious about it. A lot of bread baking can be very unapproachable for beginners. During the pandemic, I tried to create a sourdough starter and the process nearly ruined my life. The bread world is also very into fancy scoring patterns on bread, which are always very fun and beautiful, but again, I've tried it a bunch of times and mine always suck. Steve doesn't worry about all that. He's focused on his goal, great taste. All you need is flour, salt, instant yeast, and cool tap water. Always cool tap water. These are the only four ingredients required to create fresh, delicious, simple oven baked bread. Sure, there are other no need bread recipes online, but trust me, nobody does it like Steve Gamelin. People on YouTube use so many tricks or chase trends in the pursuit of success, but Steve has amassed a quarter million followers by just baking good bread. Steve is pure. I've been subscribed to his YouTube channel, Artisan Bread with Steve, no E on the end, since January 3rd, 2018, but I actually know very little about the man himself. For somebody that has 218,000 subscribers, he's incredibly not online. His videos are all about the bread, but he's got a website that gives us a few clues about him. According to the About section, he's a fun-loving, gator-riding pet lover and bread baker all rolled into one. I had to Google what a gator was, and apparently it's these little carts. Looks fun. His website also has a section called Common Sense, which I was a little hesitant to click. I have to admit that I was nervous to see what a white, retired baby boomer deemed common sense. If I had to guess, it wouldn't be good. But thankfully, the section has been under development for the past two years. The site says that Steve lives in Kansas City with his wife, Beth, who volunteers at local animal shelters. There are no photos of Beth that I could find online. I did find a Beth Gamelin on Pinterest, who only saves photos of pixie cuts, which is an intriguing clue. I know virtually nothing about these people, and yet I love them. I know I shouldn't try to pull the curtain back too far, lest we have another Ken Bone situation on our hands, where we parasocially fall in love with a stranger only to uncover some awful Reddit history. But part of me can't help it. I love Steve's calming demeanor, his extensive collection of Carhartt t-shirts, and his awesome glasses. I want to know more about this man. Does he have grandkids? What's the rest of his house look like? Where does he ride his gator? I suspect that he's excellent with children. He has a video to teach kids how to bake bread that features a sock puppet named Clever. If I ever have kids, you can believe that I'm gonna use Steve's videos to spend some quality time with them and teach them the value of baking your own fresh bread from scratch. A few years back, I realized that I hadn't thought about Steve for a while. He doesn't post very frequently. He can post as few as two to three videos a year. So you get used to not seeing him on your feed. Then one day, a new video came up. I said, oh wow, a new video from the bread guy, but the thumbnail wasn't bread. It was Steve with a dog. I clicked the video and it was a tribute to his late dog, Zoom Zoom. We had 15 years together and they were the best. And when I think of her, my lips smile because I cherish the memories. 
I f lost it. This sweet bread man who I had watched so much and who felt like a grandparent to me clearly loved his dog so much. And Zoom Zoom? Are you kidding me? That's the cutest name I've ever heard. Needless to say, I wept. I even cried re-watching the video to write this. And the comment section was filled with legions of supportive fellow breadheads. Dozens and dozens of people who had clearly also been touched by Steve and his bread. Steve continues to post. I checked on his channel from time to time during the pandemic to make sure that he was all right. And it looks like he's doing well. His last video was eight months ago. A recipe for the world's easiest pizza dough. After all these years, he still continues to innovate and push the envelope of at-home bread baking. He still uses the same font and his videos are still magnificently lo-fi. But as he wrote on his site, he's focused on his goal, great taste. There is no arguing with that. No matter what else is going on in my life, it's reassuring to know one thing. It's time to bake the bread. 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 It's time to bake the bread.